This is Shang-Chi, Marvel's ultimate Kung Fu fighter. And this is Master Yen Di, the Shaolin Kung Fu master. And this is us. We want to be just like Marvel's first Asian superhero. So today, we brought in Master Yen Di to train us, so that we can become a Kung Fu master like Shang-Chi. Shifu, you think who has the power to become Shang-Chi? Maybe one of them won't be. Alright, so the first Kung Fu exercise was bird walk. Are you confident? I think I'm, I'm pretty confident. So, Jasu. Master Yen Di has prepared nine different Kung Fu challenges for us to do and we have to pass at least half of them. In the end, he'll pick who he thinks has the most potential to become a Kung Fu master, like Shang-Chi. This challenge destroys your legs, but more importantly, I don't think we did that well at it. Next, Kung Fu balance moves. No, 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 I think I stretched my balls out. <sighs> You really gotta keep your balance for this one, guys. Now, if you're wondering who this random guy is, this is Hafu. He's Master Yandi's disciple, and he's already passed all this training. So he's well on his way to becoming a Kung Fu master like Shang-Chi. Let me show you guys how it's really done. My you gotta be balanced, bro. Be a, be a crane, not a, not, not a wobbly, not a cane. Because a cane from wobbling. Yeah. 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 <笑>少腿跨我的身体踹跟我的身体踹李小龙最有力的是他的踹腿告诉你们这个踹腿的力量跟蹬腿的力量有什么不同看好了蹬腿是这样对吧对那踹腿是这样对那如果加上这个踹
，很像中国的打木桩，对不对？三就是这么来的。是，最原始的练功方法都是从树上来的。是，下一个，一，马步，马步，一，马步。Don't move, don't move the first one, don't move the first one。一，二，三，转身，转过去，那个脚去那边。No. Same. You're right. She's kind of doing the exact opposite of Shang Chi. Don't be too close. Don't be too close. Okay, Shang Chi. Yeah, you gotta rotate. On your left hand. Left, left, left hand. Left hand on bottom. What? Ah. No, no, no. Inside. Don't move. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit! Yo, I think I feel like I really disappointed Master Indy just now. I'm like actually trying really hard, but like I just never got this kind of stuff. After that, Master Indy oh, left. He told us to rest up, because tomorrow was going to be the final challenge. All right, I'm trying to do some extra training right now, because honestly, today, especially for this routine, I was the only guy who memorized it the first time. Like, Edward and Mike, they, they both got it. If I'm going to lose, like, I want to at least show that I worked my hardest. So, I'm usually the worst at these kind of challenges. Like, I'm, like, trying my best. I feel like I'm, like, lagging behind each time. Like, I see Edward, he's doing it pretty good. Like Mike seems to be getting it, and like Master Indy keeps on like telling them that they're doing good, but I feel like I never get like any praise and stuff. Honestly, like I want to become Shang Chi, but I also really don't want to lose that or Mike. Shun Hao, today we are going to face a new challenge. Dust off the mat. You see all the dust on here? I'm only doing this because I want you guys to pass today's test. And Master Yan Di is going to be very disappointed if he sees that you cannot even clean properly. And I want you guys to become Shang-Chi. Edward, you're missing spots on the carpet. It's Get on your knees and pick it up with your hands. Ed. This is the amount of effort huh? you put into cleaning. No. What will you do in training? After cleaning, it was time for the final challenge before Master Yandi picks who he thinks has the potential to become a Kung Fu master like Shang-Chi. For the final challenge, Master Yandi wants us to memorize and perform this full Kung Fu fighting routine. But first, we get to learn the individual moves. I was trying, man. Mike, on the other hand, you've improved a lot since yesterday. So if you keep this up, I think you might be the one to pass the test. Mike, you're going to be Sheng-Chi? I have something that might make this easier for you. One big thing you're messing up is your footwork. Yeah. So about 80% of this Kung Fu routine. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. 接下来，我要看你们今天的努力，从而给你们一个评分，一百分是满分。你先开始。I want to be Shang-Chi because I've always loved Kung Fu and it's always been a hobby of mine. And to combine that hobby with how much I love Marvel, Shang-Chi being Marvel's first superhero, that would just be, sad. That'd just be so exciting for me. Finish. With the new Shang-Chi movie coming out, it reminded me of just how much I loved Kung Fu as a kid. But I never got the chance to explore it. So here's my chance. If I could get the blessings from an actual Kung Fu master, it would mean the world to me. Honestly, like, I want to become Shang-Chi, but, like, I also really don't want to lose that or Mike. It doesn't be hard, but I've done harder things before. 
like learning Mandarin. You guys always ask, what's the best way to learn Mandarin? And so me and a team of professional Chinese tutors have spent a year creating a course just for you. It's a brand new course called the Canto to Mandarin Blueprint, and it helps Cantonese speaking diaspora like me and you become conversationally fluent in Mandarin in just six weeks. No, I'm not kidding. It's already worked for all these people. If you speak even a little bit of Cantonese, even if you can't read or write, it'll work for you. It was specifically designed for you to leverage your existing Cantonese to help you learn Mandarin with a proven copy and paste method. With this, there's no need to start from ground zero like all the non-Chinese people. You can skip through most of that stuff naturally and still have all the fundamentals. Honestly, it's such a waste to not use the special position that you're in as a Cantonese speaker. I realized that myself when I failed over and over again trying to learn Mandarin with traditional learning methods. You can literally become conversationally fluent in Mandarin in just six weeks and you don't even need to be good at Cantonese to do it. So don't miss out on that dream job you always wanted because it requires Mandarin or be unable to communicate with your own people. And most of all, don't be left behind while the whole world learns Mandarin. Trust me, I've personally felt all those things before, and learning Mandarin with this method called the Canto de Mandarin Blueprint has completely changed everything and made my life so much better. Basically, if you speak any Cantonese at all, then this is for you. You go like say gong gong no wale, then this is for you. You see the link in the top of the description box? Hit that link because that's exactly where I'll show you how you can become conversationally fluent in Mandarin in just six weeks. All right, let's get back to being Shang-Chi. I only picked my master's in D because honestly, growing up, I kind of lost every single physical competition I ever did. And, you know, I, I never could imagine myself as a superhero, quote unquote, like Shang-Chi. And just, you know, to have that recognition by someone would mean so much because I just deal with a lot of things that I felt bad about as a kid. You know, and on top of that, you know, I literally always lose to Edward and Mike on challenges in, in this channel. And so if I could just win this one thing, like, I think it would do a lot for, you know, just how I feel with myself. Okay,给你打到 虽然我后来我的分数不高 I really didn't want to lose today. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, I'm happy for you, dude. Thanks, bro. All right, go do your shinji, bro. Yeah.